using algorithms and logic to get ultra low latency networking. Uh, in particular, talking about doing full stack applications that run in field programmable gatorades. And so a quick outline of this talk is, first of all, who are we? Algologic systems. I think those of us at Hot Interconnects, uh, we've been around for a long time. I think the first talk we did on this was 1999. Um, we'll talk about some of the products and solutions that have been developed and some of the applications and customers that we have now. And for these algorithms in FPJ logic, really well suited for things like accelerated trading. And so as it turns out, for doing tick to trade, as Head Bubba um, knew uh, years ago, is that to be competitive in the trading market, you had to have the fastest technology. And FPGAs have turned out to be a really good technology for making tick to trade systems, uh, implementing pre-trade risk checks, and even building stock exchanges. And so we'll talk about these products that we've built, as well as some of the other uh, peripheral products like our key value store and our packet classifier that we've recently implemented with high level synthesis. Um, throughout this, keep in mind that Algologic uh, is a company that puts algorithms into logic, is that we have these development frameworks that actually run on off the shelf partner uh, platforms. And so in particular, we're using cards that come from the in Intel, uh, from Cisco and Xilinx. And I'll go into some detail on the actual platforms later. Uh, but all the solutions we're talking about are multi-platform and provide similar latency across different, different devices. And so mapping algorithms into logic is something that started uh, for us back in 2009. And so Algologic is a privately held C corporation. It was a spin out from an effort that we were doing at Stanford University on the NetFPGA. And it was really motivated uh, to productize these FinTech products. Um, in fact, by a discussion with uh, Head Bubba and Raj and uh, also Andy Bach at NYSE uh, when they came out to Silicon Valley from New York to uh, talk with us about the kind of things they needed in their switches and, and networking devices. And so Algologic is based in Silicon Valley, but we have a, a lot of customers now that are in New York and Chicago and around the world for other exchanges. So our products and solutions are FPGA IP cores that do ultra low latency networking. So this includes things like our ultra low latency MAC, a TCP endpoint, a UDP endpoint, and a match engine, which is an associative lookup engine. Uh, we also now have these complete FPGA solutions uh, that allow accelerating accelerated finance and real-time data applications. And so we can use these IP cores, the frameworks, and we can build full stack development applications that allow our customers to trade on NASDAQ and CME and many of the other uh, exchanges. And so our customers are banks, uh, prop trading firms, stock exchanges. Uh, we also now are selling equipment to, or IP cores to data center equipment providers. And we also assist with uh, companies that do real-time data acquisition and help them implement their cloud solution for that. Uh, so just a quick overview of our development framework that runs on a smart NIC. And so, uh, really, at the center of this is an FPGA card. And so Algologic is these red blocks uh, that go around it. And so this includes Ethernet, uh, UDP, TCP, associative lookup engines, and this business logic that implements the actual uh, trade strategies that customers use to um, trade on exchanges or do lookups. Uh, there's also a software component is that customers typically start with a bunch of C or C++ software and we provide them an API so that if they want to just treat the hardware as a black box is that they can use it through an API or for the more uh, advanced customers that want to write their own applications is that with the high level synthesis compilers, uh, we help them integrate with our IP cores so they can actually be writing uh, logic that will synthesize into the FPGA itself. And so it really turns out to be an ideal solution for low latency networking. So this FPGA, card usually consists of this PCI Express bus, um, a fast data mover or a low latency kernel bypass NIC so that when you do want to get data between the FPGA and the processor that you can do that across an interface with low latency. Uh, and now with high level synthesis, the ability to compile applications that run in logic starting from C or C++. And so what Algologic is providing is all the infrastructure and framework around the, this, these cores including our Mac and our TCP, our cut through data processing applications and our APIs so that C and C++ programmers can quickly get into FPGA acceleration. So this turns out to be a really great solution for high-speed trading, pre-trade risk checks and order gateways. And so as you can see, uh, 
kind of the slowest way to go through the system, but still pretty good, is if you have network traffic that's coming in and goes up through the PCIe bus to an application software program, comes back down to the card and goes back out. And so for that, uh, you want to take advantage of a low latency PCI Express with a low latency data mover or a low latency NIC. Uh, but you can do better is that if you've got TCP flows that you're processing by having the entire stack offloaded to the card and into FPGA logic, you can actually implement stream level processing functions that run directly in the FPGA logic. And then even faster is that if we end up doing things just on the packets themselves, we can do packet processing uh, directly as packets stream in and stream out and get the full benefit of cut through ultra low latency nanosecond type latency timeframes. And so just to give you some ideas that a typical NIC uh, has typically microseconds of latency uh, and that's an op, now there's kernel bypass optimized latency NICs that get down to the single digit microseconds of latency and with a low latency firmware pushing around a microsecond of latency. Um, and so that is for the time it takes to go up to the host and come back. But with the AlgoLogic solutions is that we look at building applications that run entirely in logic. And so with this and with our IP cores, we can allow doing flow processing uh, in the deep sub-microsecond, nanosecond regime, and also do packet processing in this uh, very small number of, of nanosecond regime. And so these kind of applications that are processing in hardware, FPGA logic instead of software have the benefit of being completely deterministic. And so by that, I mean that 100% of the packets that come in go back out of the system in a finite amount of time, which is measured in nanoseconds, as opposed to when things involve software in the PCIe bus, there's typically a tail latency. And so some things are relatively fast, like microseconds. Uh, some require tens of microseconds, but sometimes the tail latencies go all the way down into milliseconds. And so this is the battle that we're trying to help our customers fight, is to get their applications to run on the left side of the graph where the latency is low, instead of the right side of the graph where it might take a long time. And so in the evolution of trading systems is that we've seen customers start off as being humans that used to trade in the pit um, and trading on behalf of their clients at an open outcry is that they could get trades done in minutes and even down to seconds uh, using clever hand signals. Uh, but this quickly uh, migrated over the past few decades to automated trading systems where desktop computers were used to automate the algorithms for trading and this brought the trading latency down from seconds down to milliseconds. Uh, but it kept going, is that trading on a desktop evolved to going, putting servers into hyper-optimized data centers uh, using kernel bypass. And this brought the trading latency from milliseconds down to microseconds. And that's pretty much where most of the people are today that are still trading in software is in single digit microsecond regime with their servers uh, just meters away from the exchange by being the co-located data centers. Um, but that's not where most of the HFT trading happens now, is that FPGA acceleration has changed the game for most traders, is that by putting algorithms into logic that can app offload the trading algos, um, we can get the trading latencies down into nanoseconds instead of microseconds. And so this is the competitive edge that our customers have uh, both those that are doing the banks that are providing risk checks, as well as the prop trading firms that are doing the trading themselves. And so our framework for accelerated trading looks something like this, is that we have stock, op we have stock exchanges that are and customers that are trading stocks, options, futures, uh, starting to see some crypto trading happening. And what typically happens from the exchange is that we have market data that comes in, uh, that market data is carried in UDP packets, it goes into the business logic, we make decisions on how to place orders, and those orders get placed out on TCP flows, and they go back out to the exchange. And by doing this entirely in the FPGA with the business logic compiled to hardware, we're bringing this latency down to nanoseconds. And so, of course, customers still have a big base of software, uh, things like connecting to the exchange, authenticating, uh, the non-latency critical functions, all that is still operating in C or C++ software, and it can talk to the FPGA card just the way that a normal NIC would talk to the card. It's just that for these latency sensitive trades, we can offload that to hardware so that the customers get the really good latency. And so to put this in perspective, uh, back on that latency chart, we can see, for example, with banks that were running pre-trade risk checks and using software, uh, that was taking uh, milliseconds down to microseconds of latency. For the prop trading firms that are using the kernel bypass NICs, uh, really the best they could do would still be down in the microsecond regime. Single digit micros, sure, 
but still hard to get that less than a microsecond. But by putting the algos into the FPGAs, we're able to get the tick to trade latency and the risk check latencies down to the nanosecond regime. And that's where we are now. And so now one of the challenges is how long does it take to bring up a system like this? And so um, in the past is that if you started from scratch is that it, such an effort could take, uh, if you didn't care about latency, if you're just latency aware, uh, as many kind of mutual funds and hedge funds are, is that you could pretty quickly just go online and go trade and trade without making any optimizations. But as soon as you became latency sensitive, you needed to start concentrating on how to lower the latency. Uh, the effort became days and weeks. Um, and then if you wanted to go into hardware acceleration, uh, that effort really accelerated. And instead of being a, you know, a few weeks of effort to change some software, it became months or years. And in some cases, never. Because once you get down into the latency critical where the HFT traders are, you can be down into FPGAs, custom ASICs, and pure hardware. Uh, the HFT group is demanding. And so the, the battles over nanoseconds can cause projects to, to go on for a long time. And so Algologic is the, exist, the reason for this company's existence is to help those people that need to get low latency, but still need to get a product to market, get their trades going quickly, is to provide a solution which has both um, quick time to market and ultra low latency. That's kind of a sweet spot that we operate in there. Um, we've done other things, uh, as you've heard from some of the other talks that we've been, given in the past at Hot Interconnects, and uh, we've done efforts like our key value store. And so recently, one of the efforts that we, we did with uh, on a Dell server was to push a half a billion IOPS into one new Dell server. So this was on a two socket server uh, that was running the, the Redis database and software and had a solar flare NIC. Um, but what was added was three Xilinx Alveo U50 cards and Algologic's key value store was loaded onto each of those Alveo cards. And we connected uplinked all of these FPGAs directly to a top of rack switch. And so by having uh, a mix of having Redis traffic go to the processor sockets and having our key value store functions go directly to hardware on the FPGA cards. Uh, we were able to allow client applications that were on the other side of the network run C, C++ applications with the standard API and send commands through like gets and puts and inserts and deletes of key value pairs and push a one use system to a half a billion IOPS, 500 million IOPS which is a pretty big number for a one-use server, but certainly possible by having these things offloaded to hardware. Uh, another recent project that we've done is that using the high-level synthesis on a Intel's HLS is that we implemented a packet analyzer that takes um, tr network traffic that comes in and it uses the FPGA to do packet classification and it keeps track of the stats of the packets going through so that software can just monitor the number of packets and the deep packet analysis is being done in hardware while the stats are being brought over the PCIe bus to software. So completely offloaded the work of processing the packets and just let software deal with the stats, is what, which is what it needed. And so this really was a good application for the Intel HLS compiler uh, in a sense that you could have the full flexibility of writing C and C++ programs, um, but be able to compile that and still run it in the FPGA logic, interface that with the Mac. So, some of the platforms that we're currently using today include from Intel, the PAC D5005, so Stratix 10 with on-chip SRAM, DRAM, and eight ports of 10 or 25 gig ethernet. Uh, we also work with Cisco, is that we're a partner with Cisco and use their SmartNIC V5P V9P. Uh, that was the former Exablaze product. Um, and so on that, we have our trading framework and that supports making use of the um, on-chip and off-chip SRAM. The card also has DRAM and again, eight, 10 or 25 gig ports. And on, with Xilinx, of course, the Alveo platforms, the U50, U200, U250. Um, and what's neat about the Alveo platforms is multiple different form factors from the size of a GPU down to a half height card and also including HBM memory. And so a good mix of not only on-chip SRAM and DRAM, but also HBM on cards like the U50. Uh, so in conclusion, uh, there are solutions that enable ultra low latency networking. Uh, this allows customers to leverage their existing base of software that's already running in the CPUs uh, in their kernel bypass NICs, typically written in C and C++. And we can help them migrate some of their time critical functions to run in the FPGA. So Algologic's uh, products we have include our low latency Mac, our UDP, TCP networking stacks, uh, the associative lookup engine so that traders can keep track and associate uh, opportunities with trades. And these full stack applications that include um, the complete 
offloaded application, kind of the layer seven function and implemented in hardware that does the trading, the database function and processing of the real-time data. And so these reference platforms leverage our tool vendors, uh, high-level synthesis frameworks, so the Xilinx and Intel HLS frameworks, which have come a long way um, over the past decade. Uh, we use these off-the-shelf FPGA cards is that Intel Altera, Cisco, Exablaze, and, and Xilinx SolarFlare, uh, kind of best of breed uh, technology. And so our apps just run on top of all of these platforms. And these are, these operate in pre-qualified systems that can be purchased directly from the big name vendors like the Dell and HPEs, uh, where they have pre-configured, pre-tested uh, cards that can be bought along with the systems. So if you know somebody that's uh, trying to be more competitive in the trading space, uh, or feel free to contact us. Our email is uh, solutions at algologic.com. Thanks.